Welcome back to the restaurant show. We have got a treat for you today. You may recognize this face now. This is Will Borgstrom who joins us from Cafe Hollander, the newly opened restaurant over in Hilldale. And I'm so glad to have you back. How are you? I'm really good. Thanks for having me back. Well, you made a huge mistake. You made way too delicious of food for us last time, and you have now signed yourself up for another segment. It's pretty much the goal. <laughs> <laughs> and you brought beer, which, you know. Yeah, the, beer never hurts. The key to our hearts here, of course. So today we're going to do something very special. I know you can't uh, smell this at home, but I already smell some wonderful things. Tell us what you're making today. What we're doing is we're starting with Scottish salmon, which is one of the best farm-raised salmon. If uh, the folks are going to buy salmon, buy wild caught or Scottish. Okay. Uh, wild now, wild caught, I've heard. Now, what's Scottish? What is Scottish it? is a, it, it's basically very well-raised farm-raised okay. fish. Um, they have very tight standards and restrictions on how they can harvest the fish and oh, okay. everything. So All right, it's, it's it. at the top of the line. If you can't get wild caught, then Scottish is and really the way to go. Scottish is it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I always learn something here, so that's great. So I've already taken the skin side off, which is this side, mm -hmm. and I've already took the pin bones out. You can ask, you know, your fishmonger at whatever store you go to to do all that for you so you don't have to fuss with it. See, that sounds like a good plan. So I'm simply just going to cut these into equal portions. Mm -hmm. You make it look so easy. Now, how important is it that these are this size? This size is so you, you ensure even cooking okay. through the process. And the main thing is we're going to stuff it. We're going to cut a pocket in the top. Oh, so just okay. drag the knife through and just use your thumb a little bit, just to, but you don't want to cut through. Okay, I can do okay. that. So you go right to the very edge there right. at the bottom. I think you've done this before. This would take me much more oh, concentration. No, it's, it's not than that you. tough. So then I'm going to put these off to the side. Now we're going to make the stuffing. Okay. And what, now we're stuffing it with what? We're stuffing it with uh, a Jean Lafitte triple cream brie. Uh, we have our own proprietary uh, cheese that we make it in the restaurant. That's so great. Then we have blue swimming crab, then a little Italian parsley and a little chopped chive. Beautiful. So I'm gonna start with the two cheeses. Okay, and that's brie and? Brie, this is a that triple cream brie. brie. Okay, right. gotcha. And then we have the herb cheese that we make. This might be a silly non-foodie question of me to ask, but when you cook with brie, that little edging that's on the outside, you mm -hmm. cook it right in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's the flavor. I mean, I see a lot of people like nibble around yeah, the, the rind. Know. You really shouldn't eat it that way. Okay. You, you eat it any way you I want. I don't know but... anyone who does that well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever makes you happy. Yeah, you know, there's no right or wrong thing. You know, when it comes to food, <laughs> do what's in your heart. Sure. So. So then I'm going to add the, we're going to add the crab very last because you don't want to beat the crab meat up. You want it to have nice chunks oh, okay. so it's present That's in the dish. That's important. I see. And then a little chopped chive. This is beautiful. Hopefully Brennan's getting this. I'm going to tilt just in case, but look how gorgeous that is. Nice bright colors. So I'm just going to stir this in real quick. You don't have to overwork it. You don't want to break the okay. cream up or the, the brie up. Sure. So oh, now, okay. So same for the brie. You're not trying to mash it or no, anything. You, just, you want it to have a little Some bit texture. of body. Yeah. So then we just add the cream or the crab and to the mix. And that goes in last, and you just basically you are just mixing work it, in, it. Right? Yeah. We just fold it in, and that's ready to go. Beautiful. And that's the stuffing. And that's the stuffing. So then I'm going to take the salmon. I always use a glove. Okay. It's easier that way. Your, your hands get all gummy. So we just push it into the pocket. It's good to have some of it over the top. Mm -hmm. So it comes out like this. Okay, so some's kind of in there, some's out on over right. top. So you're getting a nice healthy portion of that on. In I there. think that you know this time of year, eat well, you know. Sure. Hey, and all year, <laughs> all eat well. year eat well, <laughs> right? But a little bit heavier portion in the winter for me. Yeah. Um, simply because I need the warmth. On, I, need, right? I, need, I need a little fat cap to keep me warm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you're allowed. You know, it's around the holiday time. You can you can get away with it. Stretchy pants works, you know. So <laughs> just go to Cafe it all, Hollander it all, it all and your stretchy works. pants, folks. So then, basically, then you take this and you can season it any way you'd like. Okay. Um, use some nonstick spray. Spray a oven-proof dish. Put it in the oven 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, don't overbake it because it'll all run out. Oh, and okay. You'll, that's you'll, an important tip. That's an important tip. And then we what happens? It, it gets like too creamy. It gets too creamy. It'll just run out. Of, okay, so right. it's no longer stuffed. It's just a a mess. A sauce mess, right? right? Okay. Thank um, you. And the reason why we're doing all this is because when we first came to Madison two months ago, we, we have a Friday night fish fry, but yeah. I wanted to give people an alternative. 
of let's give them a special insert menu. Yeah. Let's do uh, some baked walleye. Let's do fried walleye. Let's do a stuffed salmon. Let's do mussels and other things that we already do. That's mm -hmm. in, you know part of our DNA of being a Belgian beer cafe, right. and just offer that to the guests. So we've started in essence some of these items and they're so popular oh, it's absolutely course. off the chain. Well you're so right about the Friday night fish fry I mean it's kind of a Wisconsin staple right everyone's mm -hmm. been to a Friday night fish fry you gotta have one if you're a restaurant but it does it is nice to have some variety so this is a twist from the classic and what a great way to go get your Friday night fish fry right. I love it so some new options. Right. And that's this is all available at Cafe Hollander now this, this is the finished plate. With the magic of as you see, our TV As you can see in our restaurant, Beautiful. what we have is a roasted red bell pepper, uh, polenta. Then wow. we have the stuffed salmon. Then we have a beurre blanc, which is a recipe I shared with you. Mm -hmm. um, don't be afraid to, to make it. It's really super easy. You just is. follow the instructions. It'll turn out beautifully okay. for you. And it's got great flavor. It's a foolproof one, huh? You say, it depending is. on the person, it, it, I'm it not is. sure. But tell me, okay, so this is, what, say what this is again underneath. Red bell pepper polenta. Red bell pepper polenta. Mm -hmm. Wow, and that's a good compliment, I imagine. It's a good compliment. Wow. You can serve Beautiful. it with roasted potatoes, grilled mm -hmm. asparagus, anything to accentuate the flavor of the salmon and just make yourself a nice healthy meal. That's fantastic. Well, you certainly know what you're doing. Cafe Hollander is open over in Hilldale and uh, you have some restaurants in Milwaukee as well. We do. We have Cafe Benelux in the Third Ward, mm -hmm. uh, Cafe Central down in Bayview, and then we have Cafe Bavaria in the Tosa Village right across the courtyard from another Hollander that we have. Wow. And then we have another Hollander up in Downer Avenue. So not their first rodeo, but uh, a, a really excellent restaurant that I recommend you check out. Brand new, beautiful space. It's gorgeous. A nice big restaurant, nice big bar, great food. Well, thanks so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you for having we me. We appreciate it. Stick around for more restaurant show. We'll be back right after the break.